Hello guys, welcome back to Sort of Motion VFX for another quick tip. This time it is finally the long requested Octane, and um, this is just uh, the first one, well, first series in, uh, in for hopefully many to come. This is just how to actually bring your volumes to life inside of Octane. So I finally find it out. So I had a lot of trouble doing it, but uh, I got some help from the Otoy forum and a lot of errors and trials. So let's just jump in. Cinema 4D. And let's just uh, add a quick film of fixed grid here. And uh, I'm working my scene scale in centimeters. We'll just add a simple source here, raise it up a little bit. And inside the film fix and ensure that it's dragged down to the object source list. Go to the viewport, enable the GPU viewport here, bump up the quality, go to the general tab, and let's see here. 90 frames that's we, we just want to do a quick one so let's aim for 50 frames and 50 frames here and also the timeline 50 it's just to show the basic setup here and it's important here that inside your general tab for the default go in choose your path i have a folder called film vdb files and save it there and then the after the dot you're gonna Delete the FXD FilmFX normal uh, file uh, convention name here. You're gonna name it to VDB and enter, and it's gonna change the wavelet and processing as well. So now this is gonna be read as a VDB file. Go up and uh, let's go to the simulation tab, quality up, and it's just gonna gonna be a quick setup this one. So let's see 1.5. Sorry. 1.5 gravity is good. Um, let's actually bump up the time scale as well, so everything moves a little faster. And watches it shrink down. And X turbulence 0.2 scale down to five. Data levels up. And we don't want fuel. Just want to see the smoke here. And uh, this one to one, so it doesn't cut up at the top so fast. And we can leave the rest of the settings as it is. Let's go to uh, rendering. And in the rendering, we don't want fire, smoke. Let's just give it a dark grayish color here, like so. And opacity, maybe three. And for the object source, symbol source, to click on that. We want to generate some a lot of smoke here. So let's just say four for the smoke, like so. And leave the other ones as they are. And let's just go in and make a quick sim, see what we got here. Yeah, that can work. So let's go back and add up, bump up uh, the detailing. So the general tab. Right now it's very low risk, 40 megabytes. But for the sake of this tool, I'm just gonna increase the spacing a little bit. So let's see here, 0.5, 0.4, 0.5, 0.4, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.
and just want to say another quick thing in the fume effects rendering tab as well I know that let's see rendering parameters I know from um, Sidney Sadi uh, the creator of uh, fume effects they are working on so we will have a much more smooth transition going uh, to octane rendering right now it's arnold that's supported here but we will soon see a uh, octane as well so that's going to be a pretty little neat thing okay so let's go back to octane so octane is set up uh, i just want to make sure here do you want to, i just want to make sure that i set it to octane here and then enable it and let's bring in uh, a light source we'll just choose a daylight here and we also want a area light move that backwards okay and of course then what we need the most important thing is the octane vdb volume okay so what we're going to do now is go into the vdb here and just want to give myself a little bit room here and I know I'm gonna state from frame 0 and I'm gonna end the frame 50 to so put that in here and if we look at the logistic here at our files we have four digits here on all our uh, namings here so that means that with the four digits you have to put in that's very important otherwise it won't work put four here as four digits leave it at meters and bring in your file start from frame zero open that when you have that then you go down to grip map uh, grid mapping choose smoke for all three uh, mapping sources and then uh, you're gonna go to the volume let's see medium here and the volume stiff put that a low number a startable 0.2 for example like so and let's see if we can see anything we can see something here let's play it up and we are definitely getting something so what you want to go is uh, choose your vdb volume coordinates and then rotate it negative 90 degrees so now it adds up with actually our source here so let's bring that in here the daylight let's move that up like so and if you play it now we can see it in our render here and if we go into the vb volume and you can even lower this to add some more detailing just lower it you'll add a lot more details let's do a quick render up here with octane let's see if we have it here and uh, of course this is this is how you have it set up so that's just a basic setup and then you can always go in and uh, play with the, the coloring in here and this is where i still need to figure out what kind of changes I can make? Let's see here. I'm gonna give it some uh, coloring in here, and then let's go back here to the to the emission. No, sorry, displacement. You can play with settings here. Choose all the normal Cinema 4D, uh, MoGraph effectors, sketch tune, noise, scattering. So scattering. Let's choose a blue, and let's check in the main render view here so play with the coloring play with the lights and that's it guys please subscribe leave a comment give me a thumbs up and uh, i will uh, continue make some uh, con tutorials on a uh, few fix uh, octane arnold everything related, related to this um so this is fairly new to me the octane render but uh, i really like it it's one of the best fastest rendering engine i have been working with and I, i'm gonna stick to it as you can see here i'm doing the subscription which is uh, pretty awesome so uh, thank you guys see you again